We can also demonstrate that this pattern, which we call the power rule, continues in polynomials of higher degrees. Similar to the last scenario, we can represent the equation y equals x cubed with a cube of side lengths x, for which y represents the total volume. Now, we can choose to expand the side lengths x by some infinitely tiny amount, which we'll label as dx again. This essentially has the effect of tacking an infinitely skinny rectangular prism onto each side of the cube, and the change in volume to our cube, dy, is equal to the total volumes of our dark blue rectangular prisms. This can be calculated via their lengths times their widths times their heights, which are each x times x times dx, or x squared times dx. Now, all we have to do is combine our like terms and we get that dy equals 3 times x squared times dx, and in dividing both sides of the equation by dx, we find that dy over dx is equal to 3 times x squared. This result can be verified using the power rule, and these diagrams ultimately do a wonderful job of illustrating exactly where the power rule comes from.